Noah Hannafin again. Puts the puck in deep. Inside nine minutes to go. Third period. Washington came on. And that'll be a penalty on Hoover, though. And you see the reaction. They went out a couple times on that shift. And now Rosselvick is going right down the tunnel. I believe he got cut from that hit from Huberto. Huberto pleading his case with the Columbus bench. Now Klapka's getting in there. And awards with Branson. Yes. And we'll see how the rest of these penalties shake down, but Huberto definitely the first one going to the box. Two officials are they're gonna review this call. And here's the hit, and Roslovic with his back to him, and I believe that's the visor as well that cuts Roslovic. And I think that's what Huberto was trying to tell somebody on the Columbus bench that you can tell from Huberto's reaction, of course he didn't mean to do that, but there's quite a bit of blood on Roslovic, so that's so the, the call on the ice, as you mentioned, Kelly, was five minutes, but yep. they do review those, yep. right? So it can be downgraded. Yes. And they're having a long look at it. Corey Sabret and Steve Kazari. Roslovic hit Uyghur earlier in the game, remember? Uyghur was oh, happy yeah. about he, that. He so sure, I wonder if yes. there might have been some retaliation. I don't know. I'm speculating here. Uyghur had to shake that one off. Yes. Just curious, because because Huberto went at Roslovic a couple of times on that shift, and then finally that hit there sent him to the box. Yes. It seems as though it's Okay, here's that Roslovic hit on Uyghur in the second period which kind of banged up Uyghur for a bit. He's unsuspecting and he gets hit from behind. Okay, I think we're going to get the call now. After reviewing the play, Calgary's number 10 has been assessed a five-minute game misconduct for boarding. Well, I don't think there's any surprise there, Rick.